Dave Lewandowski with us here, McCarthy Tire Service. We're talking about the Holy Redeemer track and field team. Let's talk first about the, the, the boys distance guys and, and their ability to, to punch a trick at the States. It's been a, kind of a long time coming with this crew. Um, luckily, we have two veteran guys on the team that this will be their third trip down to States. We have another guy, Bryce Safusik. This will be his second trip down to States. And our fourth guy, George Strish. Um, Kind of wild card this year, normally a miler and two miler guy. And uh, last year we decided to get him in the 300 hurdles, um, changed his training a little bit this winter and showed a lot of uh, speed and potential. So we decided to give him a shot in the 800 and he's uh, he's been able to produce every single time. So When you have some good tradition, that always helps. So talk, talk about the buy-in with the great families and, and these kids really, they just want to come and work hard. Um, they do. Um, Holy Redeemer just has a history of really solid 4 by 8s I mean, you look at the 2009, 2010, 2011, 12 teams um, as far as the boys and then picked up again in 17, 18, and then this year again. So um, they always buy into the program. They know what it means to be on a Holy Redeemer boys 4 by 8 team. Um, and the families are always supportive of everything. They know the history. They know what it takes. So um, all in all, it's just a really good program that the kids just want to be a part of and helps to have that history. So. Let's head over to the girls' side and, and some of the girls that have performed distance this year and done a nice job there. Yeah, Cameron Marsinkowski came out this year. Um, we didn't see her much this winter. She's a basketball player, and I know she loves the sport. Um, so we weren't really sure what it was going to be like heading into this season, um, just not having that winter training. But Cameron is a phenomenal athlete with tons of potential. Um, and right from the start, she showed tremendous drive and potential to do well this year and after every workout we always I would always say Cam we're going to win that 3200 this year district champ district champ district champ and um, she ran the mile of district she ran a PR of like 13 seconds she was a little disappointed with that which I thought was unheard of um, but she came out swinging for that 32 and she was hungry for it so a lot of drive and potential with her so happy to get her down there as well. Yeah. Four by four team just puts distance between teams. You're thinking, okay, this is a close race, and somebody goes out, and all of a sudden they're 40 meters ahead. Yeah, that four by four um, was incredible. Luckily, we have a solid sprint background with a lot of girls. They work hard every day at practice, and when you have a group like that, similar to my boys four by eight, it's just they feed off one another and everything. So, and Chris of Spade. Um, weren't really sure what she was going to do as far as 400 because she's been running the 100, 4 by one and 200 all year. And um, our head coach, Coach Walters, just decided, hey, let's throw her in the 400 and see what she can do. And uh, just decided that she was going to tear one off that day. And it's been a, it's been a good season with the 4 by as well. And district record was incredible. I never saw that coming. I, didn't, I mean, I knew they were fast, but it was just a lot of fun to watch that race. Well, Dave, we appreciate your time. Uh, great job with this group, and I know that the coaching staff's pretty darn tight, so you guys are doing a, a fabulous job as well. Good luck at States. Thank you very much. Cameron Marsinkowski with us here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, let's talk about your year uh, running. Uh, obviously, some good results when you, you get first. Um, well, actually, I did basketball over the winter time, so I didn't get to train as much as everyone else did, but I continued to do like my endurance like after practice and stuff. But once I came in, I started to focus, eat healthy, stay, go to sleep early, stay on like the healthy regimen and everything and um, tended to continue to work hard and obviously showed so. Talk about uh, running eight laps, not easy and, and just trying to keep the right mindset. It's a mental game, running is a mental game. No matter what the pain is, you just gotta tell yourself there's no pain at all. Um, just keep pushing and patience because that's all I did in that race is patience. I could have, I just took my race and I made it my race so. As far as uh, you know, knowing what your splits are and, and pushing yourself, uh, you feel like you have a still a little bit, a little bit more of an improvement you could do at states. Yes, I did. Uh, I started off in the beginning of the season doing like my first couple laps way too fast, and I finally got that um, nice pace, nice uh, lap time, and even my coach helps me out. Let's talk about the, the bond with the girls, and you know, you have four by four girls, four by one girls, distance girls. You got a, a talented group of everybody. Yeah, we're all very close. We all work really hard at practice every day. One thing is we all get along. There's no drama. There's nothing. It's a big family. So it definitely helped us push and win districts. So that's great. Health-wise, uh, you felt pretty good most of the spring season? Yes, I did actually. Um, my freshman and sophomore year I had a hamstring injury. So I finally got over that. And I, I mean, I had a little tweaks along the way, but nothing severe. So 
Well, congratulations, and we wish you the best at States. Thank you. Carissa Spade is with us here on the John and Dollar Show at McCarthy Tire. And Carissa, you've had a fantastic year. Kind of burst out of the scene. Uh, you moved here from Alabama, but you find yourself with the Holy Redeemer track and field team. What's that experience been like for you this year? It's really great. It's, it, from coming from Alabama and moving up here, it's, it's a great opportunity for me. Been a little cold, though. Yeah, it's freezing up here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you making the adjustment as far as injury-wise? Were, were you healthy throughout the season? I was. I was like, I was having a little shin problems, but like I fought through it. My coaches helped me through it and everything. I stood up. Let's talk about the coaches first, uh, what that experience is like to, to meet new coaches and kind of see what they're teaching and, and the buy-in part on your end to say, okay, coach, I'll go do that. Um, coach Kevin, he's a really fun coach. Like he's serious when he needs to be, but he also has that per great personality. Coach Nick, he's like happy-go-lucky, Coach Nick. Coach Pimo, he's always there for you when you need him. He's the one who helped me out with my shins. And the mid-distance and distance coach, I really don't know them, but like me talking to them, they're like really nice to me and everything. Sure, they want to know. You're saying, hey, come run our events. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, the, the getting along with the ladies and the guys and meeting new friends, what that's been like? It's, it's amazing. Everyone's friendly. Like, I, at first I came up here like, I, nobody's going to like me, but the first day of school and first day of track, everybody, like, loved me. When they see me run at the first track me at Lake Lehman, they were like, wow, she's really fast, and she's a great person for our team. Oh, it's great to hear that. Of course, now you got an opportunity to go to States, and that'll be a whole new experience for you. I'm sure the nerves are going to be flying. <laughs> uh, what were the nerves like at, at the district meet for you? It was it was really really bad and my nerves were like so I was shaking it was nervous but like the crowd seeing people like looking at you running you're like oh this is me like I have to do this like it was so nervous it was nervously well uh, you're gonna have a little more nerves at Chippensburg <laughs> but sometimes that's good nervousness yeah. uh, and uh, you've had a fantastic year congratulations Thank and keep you. up the good work Thank you and a capacity with us here on the John and Dola show 800 runner um, Talk about your performance up at districts. Um, I just knew going into the race that I wanted to like make a point for myself. Um, all season, I haven't really been running the times that I wanted to, so I just I wanted to get first. <laughs> Talk about uh, being able to, to get more wind. You know, it's 800 is a tough, tough race, and, and just making sure that you have enough to kick that stretch. Yeah, um, a lot of endurance training throughout the season got me to the point where I was. Um, my teammate Madison Dewees, who came in second right behind me, we just pushed each other throughout the entire season and it really showed in our performance at districts. There's a lot of good runners on this team, uh, four by four teams, really talented. Take us through uh, what it's like being around these girls and know, man, hey, next person up, somebody's gonna, if I don't do something, somebody on this team's gonna. Yeah. Um, throughout the whole season, we didn't know who was going to be in our 4x4. It would change all the time because every single person that we had in it could run the same times as each other. So um, it was interesting going into districts because depending on the individual events that you were running, we didn't know who was going to take someone's spot and it's all up in the air who's running at states. And it's just amazing being around all these talented girls because you it really pushes yourself to do the best that you can. Otherwise. You know, you don't have a spot in the 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Health-wise, uh, talk about staying healthy. Uh, you know, it's not easy to do during track and field season. Yeah. Any nicks or bruises for you? I came into the season, I got injured during basketball season, and I had a patella subluxation. Um, so I wasn't at my, like, the top of my performance that I was at the beginning of last season. Um, and still to this point in my season, my knees have been hurting me and um, a lot of biofreeze, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on a sensational year and we wish you the best going forward. Thank you. Abby Lipinski with us here on the John and Dola Show. Uh, Abby, what a talented team uh, this Holy Redeemer track and field team is. You're a part of it and you're pretty darn good yourself. Talk yeah. a little bit about um, what events you do and, and your favorite event. I do the 4x4, four four, the open four, and long jump. By far the favorite is the 4x4 four four because I get to do it with my team. You talk about that, uh, the, the distance that some of your teammates put between each other. So the first leg and then it seems like somebody goes out and now all of a sudden we got a huge lead. Uh, yeah. Got to see you guys perform up at like the wall and pop pack relays where you just kind of, you know, teammates just put a lot of space between uh, the other 
the other teams. Talk about who goes first, second, third, and fourth. I normally go first, and then it's normally Anna, and then Maddie Dewey's, and then Carissa Spade. We just started Carissa, but it was, it's really fun, all of us working together. Now talk about the pressure in that first leg. It's a little nerve-wracking, nerve but like the girl, other girls around me just really pushed me, and like our coaches, they line up around the track and yell encouraging things. And mentally being in different lanes, and you know, <laughs> yeah. that, that can't be easy for you, so talk about that part. I like being in different lanes, honestly. It gives you your own little space and everything. That's just really fun. All right. Well, you're able to overcome that part of it because that's <laughs> not uh, easy to do if you're all the way out there in lane six or something. Um, overall, when you, you talk about the, your experience with the coaches and, and then their ability to push you and, and just kind of buy into what they're selling. Absolutely. The coaches have been with me since seventh grade when I started, and they have driven us all like to be the best of our community. You talk about the track and field for you. How much has it grown on you over the years saying okay I'm getting better I'm getting better and not many people like running exactly but it's definitely grown on me <laughs> and and as far as uh hanging out with the guys because they have a probably a different gear sometimes when they're out there running but overall the family at Holy Redeemer oh, yeah, talk definitely. about that we're all just one together we all hang out together and just stick together and talk about your family support and the <laughs> people out there rooting you on oh yeah they already got their hotel at states they'll be there they always come to our invitationals and cheer us on it's really nice well, congratulations, and we wish you the best at States. Okay, thank you. Kate and Fahey with us here on the John and Dola Show. Uh, Kate, and let's talk a little bit about uh, the hurdles first. Uh, how tough 300 hurdles? People will say, hey, that's one of the toughest events because it's a long distance. you got to jump over a bunch of things. So Yeah, it's a very difficult race to do, but I actually enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite, but it's really good competition, especially at districts. Like, Trina is very good, and uh, the Northwest girl is also very good. So I love going against them, actually. They push me to be my best. Yeah, a couple of girls in the Lackawanna Conference, I think, uh, you know, a bunch of 47s, 48s in yeah. there. Really respectable times. Uh, for you, you're on that 4x4 four four team, and that's a pretty darn good team, and you're pretty darn good at it. So talk about where you, where you lie and, and what your role is. Uh, on the 4x4 four four team, my main role, I feel, is just to make sure everybody's, like, in a good mood to run like just trying not like to get all the nerves out almost like that's my main goal is to make sure that everybody can run without being nervous for it that's lot my of, main thing a lot of talent and people pushing each other yeah so talk about the you know all the people uh, that are in it and now you got a new anchor but it, it could be an interchangeable part at some point maybe yeah maybe but honestly my 4x4 four four team is like my favorite like I love them all so much like we just push each other to be our best and Carissa, our anchor, she's so good, and I'm so happy that she's part of it now. Talk about, uh, she said she felt welcome from, from the first day. Uh, what was it like when you first saw her? I guess everybody was like, hey, wow, you're really fast. So that kind of is a good icebreaker. Yeah. Well, when we first saw her run, it was amazing because she just blew everybody out of the water, especially at the first meet, which was insane. And I was just really excited to see where she goes. And she obviously did so good this year, and she's going to continue to do good. Talk about your uh, family support. My family support is always there for me. My mom always goes to every uh, track meet that she can, and so can my brothers. But my oldest brother doesn't live in the state anymore, so he tries to get to whatever he can. All right, Kate, well, congratulations on a fabulous year, and the best of luck at States. Thank you.